What's good, everybody? What's good? It's your boy JTL, opposite from the Norm, back with another one. Before I get started, make sure y'all go ahead, subscribe, hit that notification bell so y'all get notifications when I drop a video or do a live. All right, so from what y'all see, or I'm sure y'all been seeing, is that y'all favorite uh, sucker, White 100, keep trying to make lies up saying that he's trying to protect Nip Hustle. Rest in peace. He not. And these goofy ass whack cheerleaders is 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 riding them so hard, pause. <laughs> it's like a, a horse without a saddle, without a saddle, because they think it's gonna do something for them. Yo, whack, yo, whack. It's, it's so annoying. But it tripped me out why y'all can't see that he using that as an extortion tactic. All right, y'all saying that her son Campbell was wrong for what he did by recording him. Actually, to me, he wasn't. Because as you see, Wack 100 is not to be trusted. He did, he does the same thing to everybody else. He was saying on the same live that I just seen earlier on uh, Show Face News. Shout out to that brother. Um, go check out his channel. He, be, he, he, you know, he keep up on this. So he was talking about it was a dude he knew was gay and he exposed him. That wasn't your business to do that. That's some better female stuff, bro. But you mean to tell me that... Okay, so... Hassan Campbell was wrong for doing it, but Wack does it all the time. And he tried to make it seem like he was just trying to watch out for females and you deal with them, at least you know. How you don't know every female that this guy was dealing with, he wasn't keeping it real like that. That's his personal business. Y'all supposed to be friends or whatever he said, and it's like, come on. But you see what the Nip Hustle situation... Like, y'all logically think about this, right? Wack is a proclaimed gang member who so-called, quote-unquote, was friends with Nip Hustle. He passed away, and then Wack goes out of his way to say Nip wasn't a legend, you know, being jealous, apparently. And then he says the guy came to him with the footage of what him and Nip did with his baby mama, allegedly. Then he says he paid a dude to not release the footage and he keeps paying him to not release the footage and then he gives him plays and give, throws him licks so he keep money in his pocket to not pay him but if you somebody that's from around the way and you got some 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 good street smarts about you some common street smarts about you right logically that does not make sense and i'm gonna tell y'all why if this is your homeboy, somebody come to you and say, I got some footage on him. You're going to do one or two things. You're going to like, oh, a word? Okay. Now, depending on how he come to you, you might mess it up if you if you don't think quick on your feet. First reaction, somebody who might be, you know what I'm saying, not necessarily, don't have a high tolerance and don't, you know, think because the, the true leaders of the packs are usually because they think. And that's why people follow them. That's why leaders lead. Unless they pay to lead. You know what I'm saying? But if you're not a leader type, general type mindset dude, and somebody like, yeah, you know, I got some G-A-Y stuff on Nip Hustle. You know what I'm saying? I got this video footage. You're going to get mad because if especially you got love from you. You're like, man, hold up, bro. Who you think you talking to my, about my dad? What you mean? My, you know what I'm saying? You might do that. And he might run or whatever. Now you got to catch him, beat him to get it out of whatever, whatever. Let's now say you are a thinking person, which what we can see Wack is. That's what makes him so trifling. He, he very smart on his trifling feet. So he, he probably cheated at chess. That's how Wack plays the game. So you gonna think you know what you do? You know how you do this? You gonna be like, all right, for real? Let me let me see this. You see the foot? Like damn, for real? Who you show this to? Oh, no, I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't showing nobody. I brought it to you, Cash, saying you don't like this about Nip, but I got this footage. I might release that. And, allegedly, and he he, he wanted me to send him the footage and all that. I got a text message to show that. Oh, for real, let me see that. Damn, that's great. Yeah, I do know. I, I, yeah, okay. So, check this out, bro. 
how much is it going to cost for this to go away? Right? Shit, man. It's probably worth a lot of money. You kind of lowball him. Check his temperature. See where he at. I, mean, I got 20000 right now. And you look like, I mean, that's cool. But all right, all right, my bad ain't me. You know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to lowball you. What you thinking? You know what I'm saying? Maybe 30, 40. You looking like, see his, his head turning, his mind spinning. Like, fuck it. I got 50 racks. I can go get you 50 racks right now. Don't go nowhere. So you like, all right, cool. Because he said he a regular civilian dude to let you. You going to take them 50. Or you can be like, so you ain't show this to nobody? I mean, come on, bro. So you ain't got no copies to be real with me now. You ain't got no copies. No, nah, man, that's it right there. All right, cool. Man, what you doing? Hold up. You already know what you got is damaging. This ain't finna see the light of day. Nah, you on some gang gang shit like that for your homie. You might run it that way. Like, nah, bro, this ain't coming. Trust me. Or you pay him that 50 racks or if it gets so honey, around the honey, whatever. Listen. I just paid you for this footage. I'm saying no more footage. I should not hear nothing about this no more. Because you telling me, no, no, for real. No, chill out. I've been not hearing nothing else about this. All right? So I'm going to tell you now. You got these 50 racks. You got this 100, around 100 Gs. Anything comes out and you telling me this is all the footage there is and something still comes out, I don't give a fuck. If you say some, you don't know how it happened. Maybe it came from Nip Phone or some or the baby mama. I don't give a fuck how it happened. I mean, you got a problem, bro. That's what you see. You be like, and if you tell the truth, you, you like, no, 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 for real. That's that's it. Or you, well, I, I mean, you know, I, I might have showed some. You showed somebody. I mean, but they ain't gonna say nothing. Like I just told you, it's come out. I mean, you got a problem, nigga. You take this money. You take what comes with. This signing a contract. I give you this. When you looking out for somebody in the streets. That's how it works, for the most part. I mean, unless you just grind me, whatever. But the fact that Wax said he kept the dude on salary, throwing licks and stuff like that, throwing money. Then he said on the same live, he finna go pay the dude tomorrow. Think about that. Instead of you making the footage go away, you pay him enough that your friend clear. You gonna keep paying him? Nah, bro. You told that man to keep that footage just in case. Whether it's the story of Nip Family, Lauren London, or whatever. Come on, man. Or, if you just lying. Because I ain't gonna front. I did hear something about some crazy shit like that, about this type of situation that Nip might have had itself in, allegedly. I kind of heard that a couple years ago, so I kind of heard something similar to that. Because he did say his whole hood know about it. So if his whole hood already knows something about this, whatever, it don't, it don't gotta be talked about. But my thing is, he don't want got the footage. You could have kept it. Because first you say you had the footage. He let you see the footage. He gave you a copy. Now you saying he ain't, you ain't got it. He got it. somebody lying. Somebody got some explaining to do whack. But I just want to put something out there for y'all to really sit there and think about, man. For the real ones that know smart, intelligent people that try to stay away from things like this, you ain't believe in whack. And you see that he a snake. You just gotta cut the grass low enough. This is your boy JT, opposite from the norm. Make sure y'all subscribe, hit the notification bell for when I drop new videos. You know what I'm saying? Get your boy up to them thousand. We working over here, all right? So rest in peace to the late, great nip hustle, man. And y'all check out that Kendra Lamar part, part five. I'm gonna do a reaction to that, cause that shit was dope. I gotta read some of them lyrics that brother said on me. That was dope, all right? Peace.